Hello everyone, I'm Dinesh. Welcome back to the SQL channel. Today we are diving into something I keep getting asked about. Real-time or near-real-time reporting in Power BI, specifically now with Microsoft Fabric in the picture. Okay, if you have watched my earlier video titled uh, Real-time streaming in Power BI push dataset, you have already know the technique we used. Okay, so that is the technique work for creating um, real-time or near-real-time dashboards. So it was one of the common ways to make Power BI uh, reports and dashboards real-time. But here's the thing. Many of you have asked if that's still the right approach in Fabric. And the answer is not exactly. So in fact, um, you know, if you have been keeping eye on updates, Microsoft updates, uh, sorry, Microsoft Fabric updates, Microsoft Fabric has already mentioned that push dataset support is being deprecated. So which means we shouldn't rely on push data set anymore for real time dashboards. So what's the alternative? Um, that's exactly what I'll show you in this video. Uh, now, just to be clear, uh, there are actually two ways to make things real time in Fabric. Uh, but again, uh, rather than saying real time, I like to say near real time because the method we use um, does come with a bit of latency. OK, you will see it. So one approach is using Power BI and other is with real-time dashboards in Fabric. Now in this video, we'll focus on creating near real-time Power BI reports, which is not that complex. And in next video, I'll show you the way of building real-time dashboards using Fabric real-time intelligence. All right. Okay, so let's get started. Let's have a look on settings related to Power BI in order to create near real-time Power BI reports. Okay, how do we start? Um, so there are a couple of things that have to be set, okay? A couple of settings, right? So uh, uh, two settings are related to uh, capacity and then there's a setting that has to be configured with your Power BI report page, okay? Uh, so the first thing you, ha you have to do is you need to make sure automatic page refresh is enabled. So how do you do it? You have to go to the admin portal. Um, I'll be showing the way of, uh, you know, opening this portal and then enabling all these things, okay? Uh, but just remember, you have to go to the admin portal and then uh, open the page related to the capacity. There's a tab for that. So when you go to the uh, capacity page, uh, you'll be seeing all the capacities you have, okay? Uh, so select the capacity related to your workspace, okay? And then get the properties of that capacity. You'll be seeing multiple sections. There is a section for Power BI. That's what you have to open. So when you open the section for Power BI, you'll be seeing two settings related. One is called as automatic page refresh. Second one is minimum refresh intervals. So first thing you need to enable automatic page refresh. Otherwise, even though you have configured with Power BI report, uh, it is not going to work. Okay. So first thing, enable automatic page refresh. Second thing uh, is minimum refresh interval. So what is minimum refresh interval? Um, you can think like this. This is uh, th this minimum refresh interval determines um, how frequently a Power BI report page can automatically fetch data from your source. Okay. Uh, remember, this is applicable only for direct query and direct lake. So let's say you have configured your Power BI report, uh, uh, you know, using direct query or direct lake. Okay. Then this determines the frequency. Okay. It's basically the shortest time allowed between two data refreshes on your report. That's how you have to think. Okay. Uh, so let's say, um, okay, for example, let's say uh, if your capacity supports a one second interval, remember, uh, based on the capacity SKU, you will be seeing different type of uh, minimum refresh interval supports. Okay. So let's say your capacity supports one second interval, then your report can be updated every second. That's how you make the report. Uh, or your report can be refreshed uh, every second, okay? So that's how you make the report near real time, all right? Um, so uh, remember, uh, this is based on, or the minimum refresh interval is based on capacities. So you can configure the minimum refresh interval for one second if your capacity is F64 or above, right? Uh, I cannot remember all numbers, but go through Microsoft uh, uh, Docs and see. But basically for F32, the minimum refresh interval that can be configured is five second. F16, 30 second. And uh, F8 and below, if I'm not mistaken, one minute or 60 seconds. Okay, right. Now, once this is configured, 
once once these two settings are configured you can configure automatic refresh with your power bi report page remember when you create a power bi report you can have multiple pages okay so this setting has to be uh, you know configured with your page if you have multiple pages and if you need um, automatic refresh with all your pages then you need to enable this setting for all your pages so all you have to do is just go to the settings of your page or the properties of your page you will be seeing a section for automatic refresh enable it and then configure the refresh interval now again uh, you know let's say you have configured minimum refresh interval at the capacity level as one minute okay um, and then you try to configure um, uh, the refresh interval for your report page as 30 second it's not going to work okay it must be uh, equal or higher than uh, minimum refresh interval all right if you really want to make the page refresh in every 30 second you need to make sure that you have configured minimum refresh interval for your your power bi work plus little capacity is uh, 30 seconds as well okay so always decide the minimum refresh interval for your capacity based on business requirements if there are reports that have to be refreshed in every five seconds you need to make sure minimum refresh interval um, you know has been set for five seconds but after that you can have pages for uh, you know five seconds ten seconds or even one minute all right yeah so those are the settings that had to be uh, you know configured once it is done yes uh, you can create near real time reports now uh, this diagram has been added just to uh, make sure that you see uh, or you understand what i have done in terms of the demonstration okay um, so um, in order to show you a near real time report i need to have a sort of a streaming data set so um, i'm not going to use re uh, real time intelligence or kql database for this uh, with my next video i'll be using kql database okay but with this what i have done is i have azure sql db that has um, let's say it's a sales database that has uh, multiple uh, uh, you know tables okay um, so uh, you know using a code i'm adding orders to this table right uh, you know the sales sales tables and what i have done is i have mirrored this uh, azure sql db to fabric um, so I'm getting all the data again. It has a latency. So this is not exactly streaming. Okay, but I'm, I'm getting data from my SQL uh, Azure SQL DB to my mirrored Azure SQL DB in fabric and then the, I have created a semantic model based on mirrored Azure SQL DB and that's what I use for uh, You know creating near real-time dashboards as a part of this demonstration. Okay, now you know the way of uh, setting all these things so let's uh, you know see how we can configure these settings and then create a near real time power bi report okay this is the workspace i'm going to use uh, first of all let's check and see whether we can create push data sets so um, i'm going to click on new item and then um, let me check for streaming data sets okay so i can see streaming data set tile if i click on it see it says the feature will be retired soon all right um, so it allows me to create a push data set. I can click on OK and then select API and then uh, click on next to get my streaming data set created. It is possible, but Fabric says not to use this. Instead, use uh, Fabric real-time intelligence features. Okay, right. Uh, so uh, we are not going to focusing on push data set. Let me cancel it. Let me show you the admin portal and then the you know how we can configure those two settings so i can click on this setting icon click on admin portal i can see the capacity setting i'm going to click on it so in this tenant um, i have multiple capacities but i'll be seeing only the trial one because i have uh, paused those capacities let me click on trial so this is my trial capacity uh, let me click on capacity to open this page so these are the section i see for my selected capacity if i expand power bi uh, workloads and scroll down you can see these two uh, settings automatic page refresh i have already enabled it and minimum refresh interval i have set to one second because uh, 
when it's come to trial capacity it is equivalent to f64 so i can configure it for one second okay but uh, make sure um you know um, you know the capacity sku if you have something like f32 then you won't be able to set it to one second uh, you should set it to five or uh, for higher value okay all right so this is what you configured the capacity level now uh, i'll quickly show you my mirror database so this is my mirror database um, we are not going to talk about the way of configuring a mirror database with this video let's see whether we can discuss it um, with an with a different video all right but my azure sql db is up and running it has multiple tables uh, so this order table is it so we can see order table and there is one called order detail tables these tables are continuously getting updated okay um, so you can see uh, let's take order table it has somewhere around um, 2,159,601 records and this is what we see as the last completed okay uh, see so all these things are running which mean um, you know my um, Azure SQL DB is getting sync into mirrored uh, uh, database in Fabric. Okay, this is not synchronous. This is asynchronous. Okay, so there is a latency. But uh, you know what I have done is I have used this database and then I have created this. Uh, let me go into this tab. Semantic model. Okay, I have created this semantic model uh, using that mirrored database. So don't worry about these tables and the measures I have created. For example, um, if I expand my uh, order table, you can see I have created a couple of uh, measures, number of orders. Okay, it's based on the bill number and uh, number of orders in last five minutes. Um, so don't worry about these measures or the DAX. It's all about, you know, simply taking values from these uh, tables. Okay. And now uh, let me show you the report I have created. Okay, you can see um, I have added three visuals, and all these three visuals are getting uh, refreshed. Okay, I'll show you the setting. Um, so I have used three different measures for these three visuals. So this is how you see the report once everything is configured. Okay, um, now if I'm not mistaken, I have configured the report. To, uh, or report refresh interval as five seconds but you know this is what i have noticed with power bi report even though i have configured five seconds for the entire page in certain cases i have noticed that not all visuals are getting refresh in every five seconds okay even with this you might see that okay first uh, tile is not getting or the card is not getting uh, updated but the second card is getting uh, frequently updated and you can see um, when it's come to line chart it is also not getting um, updated in every five seconds but anyway um, you know let's click on edit and see the settings so you don't need to do anything with visuals that's something you need to remember right we are not going to do anything specific with visuals we'll be just configuring our visuals um, just to show you now if i take this visual all i have done is um, you know i have I have used this measure with this card visual that's all okay but this is the setting you have to do you click on the page surface okay click on the page surface and then go to the settings of your page and then you can see page refresh by default it is disabled um, I have enabled it and if I expand it I can see refresh type if I expand it it says auto page refresh and change detection so change detection is based on uh, the refreshes, okay, or the data set refreshes. But uh, in this case, auto page refresh has been selected. And then um, uh, I have selected refresh this page every five seconds. All right. If you remember, um, when it's come to capacity level setting, I have set it as one second. But here I have configured it to five seconds. So every five seconds, this page is getting refreshed, making the report as a near real time report okay see the configuration is really simple at the end what you see is a good near real-time report let's go back to the reading view that's all in terms of the setting um, and uh, you can simply use this as a standard real-time or near real-time report okay just remember this um, even though i have 
configured as show SQL DB and then uh, mirrored SQL DB, uh, then semantic model and all for doing this demonstration. It doesn't mean that this works only with Azure SQL DB or um, you need to have a mirrored database or you need to have a semantic model. This works with any Power BI report. So let's say you have created a Power BI report um, using uh, lake house data tables. It works. So let's say your data tables are getting frequently updated and you have configured the report page uh, refresh interval to five seconds. Then every five seconds, it will get the data from your data table. So this works with any source, right? Um, so not specific to Azure SQL DB or the mirrored database, okay? All right, so that's all when it's come to this demo. Um, so with next video, I'll uh, show you the way of configuring a real-time dashboard, which is available as a part of Fabric Real-Time Intelligence. Okay, um, so thank you very much for watching and then uh, see you with the next video.